Hey guys, so I'm doing a piercings and aftercare uh, informational video. It's been requested a long time ago and I am such a brain fart that I forgot. So here it is, finally. Um, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a piercer. I just know from personal experience and are sharing with you what I read. And when you expect a piercing, you know, how the whole procedure goes down. So let's get started. All right, so my first piercing was when I was, well, besides the typical ear piercing when I was little, my first real piercing was my belly button, followed by my nose as soon as I turned 18 because I was a rebel and I just wanted to exp express myself as much as possible. So I went and got my belly button pierced and my nose. Now I was very, very scared because I'm not a huge, like I'm not a huge fan of needles at all. I get so squeamish around needles, it's scary. So I went in, you know, they give you a form, you have to fill out the form, you have to have parental, you know, signatures if you're under, I think, 16 now. Fill out the form, you tell them what you want pierced, you give them a driver's license, they photocopy it. Uh, back then, you weren't allowed to get pierced with, a, you know, any kind of jewelry, colorful jewelry like you can now, which kind of sucks, but now I can go get some colorful jewelry if I want a new piercing, but, you know, I guess I'm old school. Anyways, so you pick out your jewelry nowadays, um, depending on where you go, and they'll take you to the back room. Let's say you're getting your nose pierced. They're going to take out a blue like felt tip marker, and they're going to mark like three different, one to three different spots on your nose. Have you look in a mirror and tell them, you know, hey, I don't like this spot, or hey, this, you know, can you move it this way? And they'll do exactly what you say because you're paying for it. So, you know, they'll do that. Then they get out the little, it's like this prong thing with a hole in the middle and it'll hold it and then of course they have the piercing gadget with the stud or barbell whatever you want to call it and they just push it right through where the um where the dot was so it wasn't really that bad of an experience none of them really hurt um i have had quite a few piercings i've had my belly button my nose my lip twice i've had my tongue uh, my ears used to go all the way up on both sides I have this little guy I have these little my little hair sticking out these little guys uh, I'm restretching my ears back to a 8 or a 6 I haven't decided yet and that's pretty much it for my piercing painfulest was probably if I had to pick which one hurt more even though they really didn't hurt that bad it was probably my lip because they pierced it from the inside out so as soon as it hit your skin it's like Whoa! And I looked like I got soft in my lip for like a week, which was kind of cool because at that age I was like, yeah, I look like I got in a fight, whatever. Um, so yeah, as for aftercare, taking care of it, most places offer a solution to buy alongside of your piercing to take home, use, whatnot. If they do offer it, might as well take advantage of it. If not, if you have unscented soap at home or rubbing alcohol or you know, Claire's solution, um, any of that stuff will work. Just don't use scented soap. It burns. I will tell you from personal experience, it burns. When you clean it, you want to make sure you move the uh, piercing around so that way it, get, it cleans not only the barbell or the ring or whatever it is you have, it also cleans in the site, moving it back and forth. Typically, it's completely normal for it to get a little bit crusty. Don't get grossed out about that. I know it sounds really disgusting, but every piercing it's going to be a little bit crusty uh, because you're sticking a foreign metal object through a piece of skin. So that's that's normal. Don't freak out unless it's like really pussy and really red. Don't freak out. Um, you want to make sure if you have any kind of facial piercing, you want to you know change your sheets, clean pillowcases, clean hands when you're touching it. Don't mess with it. Don't put your phone up to your ear of a new piercing because then all the goop bacteria on your phone is going to get on your ear and you have a higher chance of getting an infection or even longer uh, healing time so you want to be careful when you do with that so that is my quick video if you guys have any piercings as long as they're appropriate let me know below uh, other than that I hope you guys are having a great day I hope this was informational and kind of fun and uh, I will see you guys all soon bye